Hi there everybody, thanks for tuning in another video here on Armor of God. I just want to share this awesome news about a sequel to one of the best movies that depicted the crucifixion of Christ. Very soon they'll start filming the sequel to The Passion of the Christ Resurrection. The first movie Passion of the Christ grossed $600 million on a budget of only $30 million, so it's great that Mel Gibson is looking to do a sequel to this movie. Johnny Pressburg said that similar to the first movie, which focused only on the 24 hours of the Passion of the Christ, this movie will have a slightly longer time frame, but it will still be limited to only 72 hours or 3 days from the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Even though the movie was criticized a lot in 2004, that doesn't deny the fact that the Passion of the Christ was one of the most important biblical epics told by Hollywood. So now the pressure is on for Mel Gibson himself. He has to answer two questions. The first is how will he tell a biblical story to an audience who might not be familiar with the Passion of the Christ? And the second has to be, how do you tell the story so it's interesting and exhilarating enough for the movie screen? We also know that they're going to keep the working title of the movie, and Jim Caviezel is going to be reprising the leading role of Jesus Christ, with Mel Gibson going back to the director's chair two decades later. If everything goes according to plan, we are expecting to see the Passion of the Christ Resurrection to hit theaters on Easter 2024. They would not only thematically hit the sweet spot for the movie, but they would also be celebrating the 20th anniversary since the release of the first movie. One of Mel Gibson's collaborators for the script of Passion of the Christ, Randall Wallace, said basically the same thing a few years back in 2016. He said, quote, I always wanted to tell this story. The Passion is the beginning, and there's a lot more story to tell. The evangelical community considers The Passion the biggest movie ever out of Hollywood, and they keep telling us that they think a sequel will be even bigger. During an interview on The Late Show with host Stephen Colbert, Stephen Colbert raised a reasonable concern about the movie when he asked if the story is going to feel familiar to audiences. Because unlike the events that took place in the first movie, the story of Jesus' resurrection does not have too much action during the three days. There are people mourning the death of God's Son, the Savior of the world, and there are a few storylines they could explore. There isn't too much going on. And this is where things begin to look interesting. Mel Gibson addressed Colbert's concern by reminding him that in the Bible, a lot is going on during these three days. As we all know, Jesus descends down to hell, breaks the gates off their iron hinges, and was resurrected from the dead. And this is the point Mel Gibson was trying to make during the interview. He admitted that telling the story about Christ's resurrection we hear during every Good Friday would be predictable and it wouldn't grab people's attention. But what if they could talk about these other things happening around them during this time? What if they could talk about all of the events happening in the three days after Jesus Christ dies? And if we understood Gibson correctly, the story isn't going to have a chronological order. It's not going to be straightforward like it is in the Bible. That would be the retelling of the same story. What Gibson wants to do as the director is to jump from one timeline to the next, from one realm to the other. And this is something that caught our attention. Telling Christ's resurrection story as it happened on earth would be predictable, to say the least. But Mel Gibson revealed a little detail that tells us we're not going to be here on earth. Stephen Colbert asked about the bad guy in the movie. He asked whether or not Thomas, who doubts that Christ has risen, will be the bad guy of the movie. Gibson said no, but added that the movie is going to have a bad guy. However, the villain will not be from earth. This means that angels, devils, and demons could be involved in the movie as well. In other words, Mel Gibson and Randy Wallace need to decide which events to include and which ones to leave out of the movie. We understand that the movie is going to feature a central event, namely the resurrection, and then they're going to juxtapose all of these different events from the past, from the future, and from different realms around the resurrection of Christ. So in a way, we could see all the events that led to Jesus Christ's resurrection, and we could see the effects his resurrection had on our world and the other world. So to recap, the story isn't going to be straightforward and chronological. It's going to have a bad guy who's not human, and it will have time jumps and it will pass from one realm to the other.